friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 9th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, the last 48 hours of imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Observing plasma filaments stretching from the surface as well. Most recent strong M-class solar flare right from the center Earth-facing disk. Look at the last 48 hours incoming. This is where we can witness one, two M-class solar flares in the past two days. And as well, large plasma prominence there lifting from the surface of our sun. Looking at outgoing imagery here. We did have a couple CMEs taking off in the outgoing direction. And the, the most recent M-class solar flare did produce a coronal mass ejection set to give us a glancing blow in the future here. Having a look here at the multi-spectrum, the Earth-facing coronal holes have diminished. We are only worrying about the nine sunspot regions right now. And in the southern hemisphere, this sunspot region, 3311, producing a strong M-class solar flare. Almost looking like the one that was produced two days ago from the same region here, looking at another light. We can see these solar flares. Almost acting in the same fashion with that huge arc heading to the right side. Just some amazing images here. 171 angstroms. And this is where we can see our heliosphere in action. And as well, watch all of those large plasma loops whipping around, interacting with each other amongst the sunspot regions. As I said, we have nine sunspot regions still on the Earth-facing disk. Four are turning or two are turning away and many turning in. So heads up, stay safe, stay tuned to Daily Do, Daily Events Worldwide, keeping you aware and prepared. Having a look at the sunspot regions in action as we have one in that southern hemisphere growing quickly into a massive sunspot region. Another look here at the active spots. Take a quick moment to thank you all for watching. And if you enjoy this content and information shared, please consider giving a thumbs up and maybe sharing with your friends and family. Having a look at space weather conditions right now, we are under minor R1 radio blackout impacts. And that is from the Earth facing M class solar flare. Solar X ray flex remains in a low C range after 2 C class and strong M class solar flare today. Proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to KP2. Real-time solar wind sitting at about 300 kilometers per second after being way down here. 279 kilometers per second. Really low solar winds right now. ISWA space prediction spiral showing the most recent CME taking off from that sunspot region. The M-class solar flare. And that is right at Venus. Set to give us a glancing blow. 13th, 12th into the 13th. Having a look at Alaska, showing the last 48 hours of events and as well the most recent CME. Just some amazing images here. We're so grateful to be able to use this open source media to be able to witness such amazing times. Let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as that is low as well. Only sitting at about 190 earthquakes in a 24 hour period and nothing major to report since yesterday with that 5.7 Alaska, but we're seeing a lot of 4.6 to 4.9s straight across West Pacific plate. Not much to talk about there through Papua New Guinea and Fiji. 4.9 there, Somalia plate. Minor activity up into China. 
5.5 Southern Mid-Atlantic Ridge, and as well 5.3 Mid-Atlantic Ridge, more central. And this is an area I noted yesterday. It's been really quiet through the region, so heads up. South America, way too quiet as well. Central America, way too quiet. Only reporting 14.4 there by off the coast of the Cocos Plate. Increasing activity east side of Puerto Rico and overlooking the North American plate. Nothing major to report. Just some interesting activity moving northward into California and off the coast of Santa Barbara, California. Give you a quick live look at the Kilauea Summit Caldera showing the lava flows over the past 24 hours. Having a look at USGS, as reporting here, 196 earthquakes in the map. Notable there off the coast, Santa Barbara, 2.1. But other than that, there is not much to report for USGS today. It's been pretty quiet. Northern California, lots of minor seismicity. And as well, a couple notable earthquakes there. Ashford, this is Mount Rainier. Minor activity in Idaho and as well. Extremely minor activity at Yellowstone. Nothing major to report, though. Give you a look here. The last seven days for shakers across the planet, we have not seen a large 6.0 magnitude earthquake or larger in the past seven days. Expecting something big here. We've seen some deep earthquakes this week and not much for residual Increasing activity into the southern hemisphere around the Antarctic plate, south of Australia, and as well as South Sandwich Islands. Quick glance versus the northern hemisphere and our North Pole. That is the last seven days for earthquakes. Nothing to report for volcanoes, but we do have major fires that have developed through northern BC and as well Alberta today. Having a look at satellite imagery and as well infrared showing the hot spots at night. And the wildfire smoke is sweeping across the prairies right now. And noting there through central Alberta, some very large fires have developed today. That looks to be west of Red Deer, Alberta, towards a Grand Cache, and as well north towards Grand Prairie. And you can even see in the Rockies, more fires developing today and yesterday. Right now, currently, there are over 300 fires burning across Canada, and this wildfire season has burned more than 4 million hectares of land. Canada is already reporting 10 times the seasonal average for wildfires, and it's very early in the season here. As well, correlating here, the air quality forecast showing SO2 plume coming out of Hawaii, and as well Kamchatka through the Pacific, but many particulates through North America with all these fires. Large fires burning through Eastern Australia as well. Just a quick glance at the world for sulfur dioxide emissions. This is your quick air quality forecast. Now let's get to the world weather forecast starting out here in North America as we have a low pressure system heading into the Atlantic provinces over the next couple days and then one developing here central United States and towards the Gulf. Watch for extreme weather to develop there through the Gulf states, southern and eastern United States and then another low grinding through Texas. blocked by a huge high in the Atlantic right now. Pretty much when that high leaves, we will see our Atlantic hurricane season pick up 
but lots of moisture here in the long range forecast big low for the west so relief is coming but watch for lots of lightning strikes and i'm sure more fires developing throughout the week large low pressure system through the north atlantic Daily evaporation rains through Central Africa. Not much has changed in the forecast for Europe since yesterday. And then overlooking West Pacific and the Indies. We still have two tropical systems heading up into western parts of India and as well Myanmar. And a couple strong ones moving through the Pacific. Australia has got a wild week ahead of you. And as well, New Zealand, Tasmania reporting very strong winds and extreme weather from very big systems that have been cruising south of Australia this week. Big low here affecting New Zealand in the long range forecast. And as well, Western Australia watching some pretty strong lows move in there with cyclone potential. Quick glance here at the massive systems that are spinning south of Australia right now. Southern Hemisphere ramping up. Look at the size of that low pressure system that is south of Australia right now. It is twice the size of the continent. Long range forecast. Quick glance at the winds showing the highs and the lows over the next little bit. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's show. If you did, please don't forget to smack that like button and share with your friends and family. Hope you enjoy your weekend. Happy Friday. God bless you all. And thanks for watching. Some pretty big systems down there. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.